is it possible to create a genuine relationship after narcissistic abuse? That's what we're talking about in this video. Hey, I'm Dr. Melissa. I'm a trauma expert and top doctor. And in this video and on this channel, I help you identify the hidden narcissists in your life, identify the impact that they're having on your life, and then turn that trauma and that drama into gold, becoming stronger and more powerful than you ever were before. If that sounds like exactly what you need, click subscribe, click that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. Today we're talking about whether or not it's possible to create a genuine loving relationship after being a victim of narcissistic abuse. I know the agony of this question after being betrayed, after being hurt so severely by someone you love. It's a natural question. This question tugs at the heart of every survivor of narcissistic abuse. It's certainly tugged at mine. The questions, is it even possible to create a genuine loving relationship? Will I ever be able to trust again? Or worse yet, am I permanently broken? Here's how it usually goes. You choose to leave the narcissistic relationship or you're discarded. You find that you can't stop thinking about the narcissist. You agonize over whether or not you've made a mistake. You long for what could have been, but then you remember the abuse and wonder what is wrong with you. You commit to moving on, but don't know how. Then you meet someone new who seems like a dream come true. You have so much chemistry. You just can't stop thinking about them. And you just know this is the person you've been waiting for your entire life. You feel seen and heard by someone who truly gets you. And you are just over the moon because this is finally the one. You start having trouble in your other relationships with friends and with family. You feel kind of messed up and are so glad that you found someone to care about you. You start feeling more insecure, less sure of yourself. You notice you now struggle to make even simple decisions. You appreciate how patient your new partner is with your many mistakes. You seem to always read the situation wrong. You start to trust your new partner more than you trust yourself. You stop moving forward in your career and all of a sudden you notice that you now have headaches or hip pain or trouble sleeping that you didn't have before. You're about 12 steps beyond exhausted and you don't know why. You become certain something is wrong with you. You stop connecting with friends and with family because you don't want them to see how completely messed up you are. You start doing research to find out what in the world is going on. You come across the most eye-opening and heart-wrenching word, covert. You leave the relationship only to start back over at step one. You're at your wit's end. Something needs to change. You go to therapy, you learn new insights, you have ahas and breakthroughs. You learn so much about yourself. You learn to recognize the red flags of a toxic person. You learn how to set boundaries. You learn how to prioritize and practice self-care. You take the courageous step to open yourself to a relationship again. But then you notice that everyone you attract, and worse yet, everyone you're attracted to has those same red flags. You get really good at ending relationships quickly and start to doubt whether or not you'll ever find true love. Next thing you know, you find that narcissists are coming out of the woodwork, not only as romantic prospects, but as business colleagues, acquaintances, and employees. You start to wonder if someone taped a sign to your back, narcissist target. 
maybe you even catch yourself looking in the mirror to be sure that sign's not there. You find that you're so busy with extraction from these relationships, the lawsuits, contract dissolution, firing and rehiring, smear campaigns, that you wonder if you'll ever have time for anything else. And eventually you decide you're done, not with life, but with narcissistic relationships. You stand tall and literally or figuratively scream, enough. If you're here, I can help you. Here's what comes next. You commit to doing whatever is necessary to change the situation. You go all in. You learn to extract your trauma, not just from one relationship, but from a lifetime of narcissistic or toxic relationships. You break your trauma bonds, trauma bonds that were narcissist candy luring them in your direction. You learn to access the trauma and the story that trauma created. The story that you're not good enough, that you're too much, that you're invisible, that you're unworthy or unlovable. You discover that this subconscious story has driven your actions your entire life. You decide it's time for that story's reign to end. You commit to rewriting those subconscious scripts. You commit to discovering the truth of who you are. You empower yourself to rewrite your future. You become the person you would want for a partner. You develop a deep, solid, unshakable relationship with yourself. And you realize that no matter what happens, you will never be alone in that relationship with you. You have a massive breakthrough. Suddenly you realize you are more than enough, visible, worthy, lovable, safe, wanted, important, someone who matters, someone deserving of great things and flipping amazing you realize you have every right to be brilliant, to be bold, to dream big, to change the world, to ask for what you want, to have your needs met, to say no, to put yourself first, to be amazing. And your amazing self starts to notice that amazing things happen. You create new career opportunities. Your bank account has more zeros. You attract synergistic connections. Your health improves. You sleep well and have tons of energy. You create a positive impact on your community. You think even bigger. You feel like you're the luckiest person in the world. You love life. And you desire to share your amazing life with someone. Almost effortlessly, you attract and create a relationship with the most amazing partner who mirrors your new capacity for love, joy, peace, well-being, abundance, and wholeness. That's what I've done. That's what is possible. If this video resonates with you, type, it's possible in the comments then like this video, share it with someone who needs to hear this message. And if you know you're ready to heal and move on, I want to gift you my free clarity guide and the bonus 22 signs that you're still being impacted by narcissistic abuse, even though you don't know it. The link is in the description. I'm Dr. Melissa, and I'll see you in the next video.